Hey everyone, Nicola Light here, remembering you back into your light. This is the video that I did on the second playlist of this particular playlist, which is about the upgrading of your systems of your deep cellular structure. Um, we're going to go into the next video in a second, but if we just please check on the last two videos, which is about the DNA structure of a single cell with a positive and negative charging systems, and then also about the recreation of new bodies, new generations um, from a positive and a negative charge. So check out those two videos before you go into this one and it help you with the inner stand inner wisdom um, about this particular subject. So I'm just going to rub this off and I'll see you very soon. The so na maki al tota asimaku to kahisi hai kwa kahitina etwa a. Vangu yo tota imisu man ya tota alaki an tota to wasi. Vangu gare baki an tota alamoko laki atam. Alamasi baki an tota basi maki atta. Loki an tota ola masi baki an tota basi miki at and o kare baki te. So loki an o vangi an tota angi atta. Vo kare baki an tota o kare baki te nisha. So ki an tota kare baki te e to kare baki atam. just really sort of tap into those codes, those remembrance codes to ignite the inner wisdom within, to understand from your mind, to understand, to ignite the wisdom within. Ela makiato o van korabakite, sale kianta ale masubakianto o vorabakiata na asiata, le masubayan koyoto da asiakiata. It's quite interesting actually that I'm sort of being a, a sense of a, in a, a laboratory like with test tubes and DNA structure manipulation. Okay, that bakiato tadabisi makiatam, elamasio bakiatam. It's about the hybrid system of DNA manipulation. Okay, hybrid. <clears throat> Da elamasia bakionto da asimakiata na visimakiata. So we have flow, which is consciousness, which is light, and then we have then form, which is body. So we put the light into the body to create a singular cellular structure of a positive charged being. Okay, da bakionto da alivisimakiatam. If we look throughout the ages of physical form upon the land, the land was of a denser energy, of a primitive sense of form. So we had um, the structure of a form which was manipulated into a positive uh, a charge to enable higher frequencies of light to be embodied within a structure. This structure had to be manipulated for a higher frequency transmission of light to be integrated within the system of a physical embodied format. It's like the missing link, isn't it? Okay, this is interesting. Let's see what comes forward on this. El makianto o vankiata alakiato do is makiata. This is for um, ed, um, um, entertainment purposes only. Da el makianto o vanimbo sukiat and o vabakiata alakiata. So if we've got, okay, this is what they're showing me. If we've got, <laughs> I don't know, okay, to to show that this is a uh, like a, a, a an AP type of person, <laughs> got lots of hair on it. Okay, so the AP type of person is walking the land. Ooh 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 ooh. Right, it's on the land. You have got um. A, a, a UFO, a galactic force, 
So we'll go like, oh, look at that town there. It looks like a lovely planet, don't it? Let's go and see what's on it. And they go like, oh, but they can't quite get onto the land because because the land isn't matching their frequency and there's this sort of like feeling of like um oh well to actually embody upon the planet let's set up a, a plan to bring in our dna structure into and on the land okay so gradually through time the structure of the body starts to then become human. Okay, this is this is real. Do you know what I'm saying? There's the evolution of from this state of being to this state of being within the land. And this embodied state um, was manipulated um through the transferring of DNA structure into the evolution of mankind to who to who they are now. So there was a transitional period from this to this, from this to this. Less hair, da, 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 holding the DNA structure of um, the man upon the land, which enabled the level of intelligence of light to come in and then to be embodied. But the embodiment of this particular um, man upon the land held a lot of traits of this format. Um, so it held a lot of instinctual um, structure of um, which would be quite an emotional state. Um, so I'm drawing upon information here for the, just drawing me in. So if we have traits from this DNA structure of mother and into the interjection of this intelligence to manipulate into this this body, that this trait, like if we listen to the last video, will hold the creator code. So this format holds the creator code because the creator code comes from the feminine the birthing system so from the birthing system the dna structure the format of the physical form will come from the birthing of mother the feminine okay and so this then created this format whether it was a masculine or feminine physical body it always held this original dna structure of positive charge of this being and so this being always holds back data to this first ancestor so this first ancestor holds the key for every single manipulated being upon a linear line from base one so the first ancestral interaction with hybriding comes from this first format and there may be one or two or three or four or more different first formats which then create the first creator feminine birthing system to create what we have now so there'll be different lineages um, from that first format okay thank you I hope you're following this. That ala masiba kianta o kuba kianta ala kianta ala kianta ala kianta ala masiba kianta da si makoshna kite di vichu makiota da si makiata. And so time after time after time, the pattern starts to then to blend in with that of father mother. So the mother then starts to shift to change, and then you start. It's like having like a wolf and then moving it into um, a chihuahua. You know, same thing. It's a hybrid system of manipulation of the creation of a form of a dog. Same thing, humanoid. Okay. Anamasia bakionto o bakiata. Now we don't need to go interfere with any of this because we got the body. This is this is the body that we are in. It's just to have a sense of wisdom about how the whole system works. But then throughout the ages 
you have certain forms that come in from galactic forces that then wanted to suppress because this form started to gain the intelligence of the galactic force but this greed and you could say from a learnt understanding it could be then um, which I'm getting a yes to and this may not resonate but as um, um, a sense of a slave race but we got too intelligent because we held the father traits of logic from galactic forces and so what we do is we dumb it down so we cap that human so that we don't get this format of information and then we then become a true slave race upon the land and we then hold negative charge frequency um, which then lowers the consciousness into just being and then the energy that we create then can be siphoned off and um, and then used f for some sort of sense of <laughs> Check that um, those videos with blocks, the very last one on blocks with that particular, this particular part of this um, in the standing of, of the reality of life upon earth in this now moment. Okay, da. But there's a negative charge of galactic forces and there's um, a, a positive charge of um, galactic forces and the hybrid system to enable this species, which has become a species within its own format, um, needs to evolve through the journey, which is what is happening right now. It's the ascension of um, the um, of the human that is um, being looked at from a universal perspective to enable the the physical bodies to be uncapped, to then reach up into becoming part of a galactic system rather than a suppressed energetic farming uh, siphoning of energy which is going against all laws of the universe um, and the um, the data that is required through this system of transformation needs to be going up to conscious connections into into the ancestral lineage line of from said first ancestor um, which is held within the DNA structure so within the body we hold data that is the ancestral line data so everything that is stored within the structure needs to go back up to the universe to then to be then stored within um, the um data banks okay we're just going to leave that there that's come to a dead end okay that that may be a different level of inner standing that okay so where it goes off to is regardless of where it goes to because i'm questioning trying to push it and there's nothing's coming through okay da. And let's keep it simple in this now moment so if we know then that there was an ancestral mother that had um had um, certain traits which is a creator which is that of flow and then we got interjection with a hybrid system and then we move into a capping system because it gets too bright and then um and then we then end up being in this sort of 3d reality okay as the rise of energy starts to come in and the cat starts to come off then we then start to get into this awakening field of where we are rising back into um, creation and then going back into the light. We go a little shiny, shiny. With a little pot belly there. This is the evolution of humanity. So that the positive mother and the positive father can then create a positive charge of hybrid system because it, throughout all time upon the planet it has come from here. It was suppressed here in the illusionary field 
and now it's coming back online and then being granted to then step into the galactic beingness. And for those star seed that came in, we're holding intelligence to assist the rise to come into the embodied state to hold and to bring in more light into the embodied state so that we can ignite and to release the old ancestral traits of density holding neg negative charge within the body so that then humanity can rise through the next generations to then hold um, a more um, uh, recognized um, uh, human form in the galactic realms of the universe. Um, the cellular structure from the original templates are being retrieved from the DNA structure and this is the hybridization that we might see as in being a conspiracy or um, or um, do you know when we sort of like so it's hybrids and um, I sort of heard speak of you know the greys coming in doing DNA um, um, issues with with humans and um, adaptions and you know taking eggs and sperm and all of that um, it is allowed within the the galactic forces of alliance to enable this interaction to take place from a negative and also a positive standpoint a perception of your mind could be then perceived as an interaction with our governmental systems to then um, subdue the traits of humanity or to rise the systems of humanity it depends upon the perspective and the timeline in which you are placing your intention if we look at it from a positive standpoint, then we're looking at it is for the rise of humanity. It is also for the rise of other races that is embodied into the DNA structure. So do not go into a point of, well, it's the suppression of humanity. No, it's the rise of humanity, the hybrid system, because of the availability um, of the the experiment that came in was... Um, which was actually at the core root of it was actually this if we continued along this linear timeline we would not be even out of this system by the linear time except for actually the hybrid system that came in here from a galactic force so we could see it as a negative thing for the a hybrid to be then walking upon the earth as the dna structure is being upgraded or we can see it as a positive thing for humanity because it's upgrading the system of bringing a galactic influence upon the earth with the manipulation of the DNA structure of the physical body. Our physical bodies are so, so um, highly regarded because it holds so much data and available data to be held within the system. It holds a sense of history, which is not his story, but it's a sense of um, it's a sense of structure of the universe because we hold so many cellular structures with other races that we are other races. If we look at, I saw a video which I needed to watch before making this particular video was about the, the white-skinned, blue-eyed beings upon the earth hold the DNA structure of galactic forces. If we look at going out, um, you know, if you look at skin, <laughs> um, naturally my skin is not um, able to sustain the sun upon the planet I have to wear clothes I I wear shoes on my feet and an, an original form would have had hair and hardened feet to walk upon the earth and it would have been able to survive upon the planet with a darker skin but the lighter skin beings that were hybrid with then creates a body that 
isn't sustainable upon the land and the um and the 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 consciousness that is held within a human that holds the DNA structure of galactic hybrid hybrid systems enables the soul to experience it from a fractal of a galactic a multi-dimensional aspect integration and perspective and a human upon the land so it is it is highly prized to be a soul embodied um, upon the land when we're looking at a positive and a positive perspective um, because the next generations will hold um, a more of um, of a galactic family um, DNA structure and would have let go of all of that suppressive stage um, of capping the human. Um, the resources upon the planet also, if we look at the resources from this mindset of negativity, is not good for Gaia. The warring, the... Um, rubbish that the people that are not conscious um, of taking care of the land is not good for Gaia so if we raise the vibration of the intelligence of the soul and in, in entwine with a hybrid system of a galactic force then these humans will take care of Gaia so we can look at it as oh, no they're taking up or we can say it is actually how it should have been throughout the time without this distortion that came in. So the line can then release this from the system and then what it should have always have been should have happened here. And then this then goes on to this so it's the hijack within the system created um a sense of um stop start um because because of negative influences came in and then capped the system off but now we're kick-starting it resetting it back into the original plan of creating beings upon the earth that held dna structure um from an original ancestral line um, but because the DNA structure within the physical body held trauma, it was very hard for, once you're in the game of it, the soup of it, to release it, to release and kickstart the mind um, into more of a conscious awareness to unveil all of the data that was held within the DNA structure then enables the soul then to rise into a greater knowing of self. Um, so, um, so this is why we are, as... Um, higher beings of multi-dimensional aspects star seeds coming in to upgrade the physical body by enabling us to release the dna structure from the physical body to stop the linear line to um, hold more light frequency into the body the conduit to um to work the land to walk the land to infiltrate the darkness upon the land the pockets of data in the Gaia structure outward form to enable that then to be released off into the universe as data re reclamation of dense energy to be transmuted into positive energy. I do hope this information is, is useful to you. It really has been very sort of um, interesting from my own inner understanding of it, so from mind understanding. To know that these outward forces aren't always going to be from a negative perspective. There are definitely negative perspectives because it's a dualistic experience game. But at the same time, if we flip our navigational system into a positive, positive charge, then we enable ourselves to align to the positive influences of consciousness that will then enable the soul to rise in the embodied state of being human aspect fractal soul alignment into the higher mind 
of um, a galactic um, sense of being. So, so it's it's basically to upgrade the whole of humanity, but it has to be that um, that it has to be it has to be so to enable humanity to survive this because otherwise if you leave in humanity to their own devices then we're just going to blow up the freaking planet and that's not good for the universe is it um so this is the intervention of or positive charged galactic forces to come in to assist to release the DNA structure of ancestral looping systems so that the soul can rise into other realms of understanding and move forward and create this new humanoid um, humanoid um, fractal of higher frequencies of light onto the planet so that Gaia can rise even further. She would do anyway. It's not that she can. Nah. Okay, I'm starting to drift off into Nicola now. So that influx of energy was very, very interesting. The light codes there, contemplate on those a little while. See what sparks within you with this um, inner wisdom that has been ignited within me. Now it may hold some sense of distortion within the story of it, the detail of it. Um, you may hold different sets of intelligence within it. But this is my perspective. If you've got any other data that you're getting from those like hosts, please let me know on the comments below. Um, because different people's perspectives could then bring in um, a, a fuller picture. A fuller picture. So be open to this information if you got to the end of this particular video and this playlist. So please go in and watch those other playlists. Also look out on the block playlist and the previous playlist to that, which was about the infinity of um, negative um, entities and attachments and things like that. So, mm, okay, I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Check all the links below if you want to work with me, nicolalike.com. Um, to help you release some of this DNA structure within you to release all of those data points, then um, I'm here. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.